Hello and welcome to another Gen Knight Academy mapping tutorial. Today we'll be creating a connecting room. So let's jump right into it. Let's launch GTK Radiant again. Hit OK. And you'll notice that the map we created before isn't here anymore. To load it up, go to File, and there will be a list right here of the last used maps. If it isn't in the list, you can go to Open. And you can find all the maps right here. Once you've found the map you want, hit open. And there we go. Here's our map again. Now I think that the room is still a little bit too small, so I'm going to resize it. Because as you can see here, it's not all that wide. It works as a corridor, I guess, but for an actual room, it's not all that wide. So I'm going to set my grid to 7, and I'm going to drag out the walls a bit to make the room a little bit bigger. Okay. Now let's also do the floor and roof and drag them out. And I just noticed I didn't bring this wall out far enough, so I'll just push it back one more and I'm gonna also do these walls now and there we go a little bit bigger and this looks a lot better but uh, let's actually raise the roof a little bit one block should be fine select all the walls drag them up and there we go looks a lot better yes all right so now we have to create a hole in this wall so we're gonna select the wall I'm going to resize it to one block past the middle. Then we're going to copy it, drag it over. And now you have this hole in the middle. I just have to fill up the top like that. So now we've got this hole right here, but the floor is still missing. So we're going to select the floor, copy it, and resize it to fit in that bit. And there we go. Perfect. Now the last thing we need to do is make the new room. And we already have a room, so we can just copy this over. So we're going to select all the walls and all the floors, except for the one where we put the hole. And rotate it with the options right here. There is Z-axis rotate, Z-axis flip, Y-axis, and X-axis. Now to know which axis you need to use, you can look at the icons right here. You can see the Z right here, and we need to rotate it on the Z axis. So I'll just hit the Z axis rotate button two times. And there we go, now it's rotated. And all we have to do now actually is just move it over. And there you go. Looks great. So yeah, there we just created our second room. Now let's take a look from the outside. And then you might notice if you go further away, things will become invisible. And an easy fix for this, there's a button for it right on the toolbar. It's right up here. It's called Cubic Clip the Camera View. Do note that this may decrease your performance, but it's very handy and you can see as far as you want. Now feel free to play with the flip and rotate buttons for a while, so that you can get a better feel of which button does what. Now the last thing we need to do is save the map. What I like to do is save as, and give it a new name. So maybe a tutorial connecting room. Or actually, let's do it more easily. Let's do tutorial 03. Hit save. And we're done. Alright, thanks for watching again. Feel free to comment, rate, or subscribe, or join me on Facebook.